Hello there. Good afternoon. There we go. Thank yes, I much. think I know what'll be in the box, don't I? You don't have a clue. <laughs> <laughs> what is it this time then? Uh, you could like check out my YouTube channel to find out. But... I know what kind of things come in there, but I wondered exactly what it was this time. Yes, I told people at work what would be in there, and they said, no, don't believe you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if you look, type in a tranche of dance. Yes, on you YouTube. told me, you said to me before, yeah. didn't it? Yeah, because it shows all the packaging and stuff, doesn't That's it? That's it, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Really horrible things in there, so <laughs> can't wait. <laughs> I said, because when special deliveries, you've got to be very careful because they're the things that obviously are valuable stuff yeah. sometimes. And I said, somebody have a real shock if they nick this one. Yeah. And ripped it out and expected to find <laughs> Yeah, a, a mobile phone or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they all want that. No. So, no, okay. brilliant. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah. Everyone, hope you're doing well today. Trying to done here, and I have another unboxing video. Um, so yeah, got some really good things in this box. So I can't wait to show you. Uh, many of the things in here have been requested at some point. And the funny thing is, um, last week um, on Facebook there were numerous people um, tagging me in posts, sending me messages, and things, including my girlfriend Kim, who had been saying, "Oh, get this, get this, get this," and I just said, oh, "I can't. I've got no money, or I've got no room." The general stuff. Um, in actual fact, at this point, I'd already put the order in with the spider shop. So yeah, let's uh, open this up. I've already cut it because um, the scissors I have uh, are a little bit blunt. So yeah, in here, I have um, a link, a uh, link, a like a, a note for the Western Invertebrate Show. I will um, put some screenshots of these on the screen uh, at the end, so you can search it out. Um, and I'll also put links. In the, in the description to this and other things that I think you might find interesting so please go and check those out and there's also another one here for the Southeast Arachnid Show again I will put all information to this in the description so please check it out there's plenty of information in the description that you may um, enjoy and also don't forget to subscribe to this video um, so you can see the future updates of these animals as well as the other stuff that I'll be doing in the future so let's um, start by getting the spiders out and then we'll take a look at them. Okay then everyone, so I have my list here from the spider shop. This has the list of the animals that I've bought and the prices which I will go through um, so you can see how much I'm spending on the animals on my channel. Um, so I'm going to be starting off with one of my favourite baboons uh, which is this one here. Uh, this is the Harpactria porcroips and I actually already have the enclosure set up. So uh, I'm going to just take the lid off. I'm not too worried about this spider biting me because it's only very small. That said, do not handle tarantulas. I'm not trying to encourage you that. There it is. Orange coloration in the body and blue tips on the legs. So already showing kind of adult markings and coloration which is nice and to rehouse it I'm going to just place it onto the side and just tap the back legs very gently and just kind of coax it down into the enclosure nice and easy and of course I will place the lid on that and that one is done nice and easy really good start of course I have no use for these little pots but it's worth keeping these for if you breed tarantulas because they make really good um, you, know, you know enclosures for very small spiders um, next up I will be doing oh by the way I forgot to mention uh, the Hopactra pork crops the golden blue leg baboon um, was 39 pounds um, I, that's sort of between one and two centimeters so that's not a bad price really um, I had one a few years ago and I think I've had about 150 ish give or take for it so so yeah 40 quid that's a pretty good price for it okay then everyone so next up is the E. Balkankus I think I butchered that but uh, I'll put the obviously the name at the bottom of the screen and this is the one that actually Kim um, had been tagged me on Facebook I think it was and 
I lied and said that I wasn't getting one, I'd already had one ordered. Uh, I paid £22 for this, so very um, pretty cheap really for a jumping spider. Uh, it's also called the Ladybird spider. So uh, I'm going to remove the tissue here. And the reason for that is because the actual spider is already at the bottom. Okay then, and the house for this one, I'm actually going to keep it in, in one of these mesh cubes. Um, I had the butterflies in originally, and uh, I just thought it'd be something a little bit different. And I will of course be adding in some twigs and things for it, but there's plenty of room in there for it to um, climb. I just kept it empty so you can see it in the video. There will be some twigs and uh, I'll put obviously some substrate at the bottom. I just want to show you the kind of size that this will be kept in. So yeah, that's the um, the E Barbacos, the Ladybird Spider. I said that one was £22. Okay then everyone, so next up is the Ornithoctonia species South Mindanio. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but I've just been practicing it and I think sounds right to me, um, don't laugh. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Onithoctonia species South Mindanio, uh, the Mindanio tree tiger, uh, this is a two centimeter. I will put a, uh, a picture up on the screen of uh, the actual uh, information provided by the spider shop that, uh, of this spider. Um, this was 49 pounds, but um, it is a new species from the Philippines, I believe. So. Um, that's kind of exciting. I always like getting kind of different things and, and rare stuff. Very little is kind of known about them, but I will put a picture up on the screen of the information that the spider shop gives. And so that way you can, if they have any left, you can even buy one or at least check them out and see what you think of them. So, of course, on the camera down here now, uh, you can see this is the um, bowl that it comes in. I'm being very careful to make sure... Um, with my fingers because one of the spiders I'll be unboxing is not something I'm going to be messing with which you'll see so I want to make sure that they haven't accidentally put the wrong spider in the wrong vial that would not be good so I'm going to be carefully open this up and uh, I'm not get my fingers too close to this one because you know of course these do bite I'm going to try not to but I'm going to try and just show you it So here it is, um, quite a nice uh, new species from the Philippines. Of course I'm not going to be putting my fingers too close to that. I have the enclosure set up which is uh, I'm going to put, uh, some climbing things in but um, just a cricket tub with a, another piece um, kind of fastened to the front and we're going to literally just get this and place the whole thing, including the tissue inside. The reason for that is one, it's a little bit damp, it provides moisture, and it will also, um, I find they usually use them as webs, um, you know, to anchor the webs to, so that's pretty good. Next up, two last things, very, very exciting, so let's get set up. Okay then everyone, so uh, the one of two exciting things I've got, this is the M. Taiwanensis, uh, this is borderline DWA. Um, to get one of these from the spider shop, um, they basically they can refuse the sale of these. Um, you had to have you had to have been a um, you have to trade with them in the future or bought from them. So of course I buy from the spider shop all the time. Um, I called them up and spoke to them, and they were surprisingly very happy to let me have one of these. Um, so yeah, 
when it says uh, open with care this spider will bite on the front um that's always kind of cool um uh, exciting that said i'm not going to be messing around with this spider at all i'm going to literally open it up try and show you if not it's going straight in the vial because um these have got a very very nasty bite this is a i say it's the um M Taiwanensis is the Taiwan giant funnel web. Uh, it's currently half a centimeter, and I paid fifteen pounds for it. So, you know, not a lot of money for something that could quite possibly uh, kill you, or at least do a lot of you know some harm. Um, I have my tweezers here. I haven't used my tweezers or anything else in this video, but that is what these tweezers are here for. So hopefully, I will be able to get a look at it. It is only small, so if I just remove that, then I'm going to just put the lid on. So the tissue is actually and get out. Okay, sadly, uh, this camera just stopped recording, which is a shame. But um, yeah, I was very, very careful with the housing of this spider. Um, you can just see it in there. I'm not going to be getting this out to refilm that or get it out or anything, it ain't, it's just not worth it. So um, there's a look at it and I will try and get a better look at it in the future of feeding. Uh, for some reason this does stop recording, so yeah, that's a little bit of a pain. So yeah, there it is, um, M tolerances. It's a real shame that is because I actually got some really good footage of that, but I say for some reason that camera to stop recording um, but as I said I'm not going to get that spider out to refilm it or anything it's just going to be lost footage nothing I can do about that pain um, so yeah that's that uh, that's the one I was really really uh, kind of hesitant with because at the end of the day I don't really want to die to be fair hopefully once it's done a funnel web I will obviously get some feeding of it and I will remove the tissue and we'll show you Okay everyone, so the last and final part of this unboxing video is this. This is the uh, G. Avenodes, uh, also known as the Camel Spider, Sun Spider, Wind Scorpion. Um, they're not actually spiders or scorpions, they are sulfuges. And I've owned many of these over the years, from the, um, the Egyptian Bandit to the uh, Giant Black. And I did have a furry one, uh, which I don't think I did much uh, footage of that one. So I've kept quite a few of these. Um, if you've seen my videos, I was pretty much like the first person on YouTube to handle these and things. Not that I'm encouraging that, but I've owned them, I've had experience with them, and I really like these animals. Um, I was talking to many people about who were telling me to get one of these, and I never did. Um, and one of them was Mark, from Mark Tarantulas. He was saying about he's, he's just had one, so check, go and check him out. Um, and he was saying to me about if I was getting one, I said I wasn't, even though I knew full well that I was, I already put the order in. Uh, so yeah, very excited to have one of these. I do also have a clear pot, um, which I'll be sort of placing this in. It's a bit beat up, but it'll be fine for showing you on this camera. Um, yeah, wonderful animals, sausages, and hopefully you'll enjoy the videos that I'll be making of this. Okay then, so I'm going to just start off by peeling this tab. This is how you know when you want something to be extra secure. When you have a tab that you have to um, peel it around for extra security so this doesn't get out. Okay then. Oh, this one's only a baby. If I just show you. I can see. There it is. Can you have a look in? Looks like custard. Looks like what? Looks like custard. Looks like custard. <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, it's quite big. What? Nothing. I don't want to say I don't know what you're on about, but I don't know what you're on about. Uh, yeah, this is a baby one. Uh, these get massive compared to this. So yeah, I'm gonna just remove the tissue. I'm not that bothered about these. Um, I've never been bit by one of these, ever. So, of course, it was the first time for everything. <laughs> so I'm gonna very carefully just 
unroll it in here. You can actually see it on this camera that's being rolled. <laughs> I am trying to be very gentle with it, but uh, here we go. Move your leg. Please lick your up the tissue paper. Here we go. So yeah, um, I love these so much. <laughs> Kim was looking very curious, like, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, these are sulfugids. Um, I absolutely love these. I really do. This one's only a baby. Uh, the one I had before was maybe two or three times the body mass. Um, if I just get the, this camera and get a better look at it. It is, uh, I think they're pretty cute to be fair. Maybe that's just me. I find, well, most things that people don't like, I genuinely find quite cute. So, camel spiders are adorable, I think. So, yeah, um, looking really kind of active, uh, which is always good. Uh, all the legs and the limbs are there. Um, very active with his cliffs, sorry. Um, which are it's kind of grinding. So, I'll hopefully get some better footage of that in a future feeding video of this. Okay, then, so let's. Uh, Okay, I've actually just noticed um, if I get the camera again to show you this, uh, one of the legs is twisted. So if you actually look at the camel spider, the um, the second from the back, you see it's kind of bent um, in a. I don't know if that's from like the packaging or things, but. Bit of a shame. Hopefully, it won't cause it any problems, and if I am able to um, to get it to molt, uh, maybe it will, you know, molt out and it'll be okay. Um, who knows? So yeah, these are very strange looking things. That's my belly rumbling. I have no breakfast shift. Can you hear it? as well as you <laughs> Both our bellies are rumbling. Here it is, you can see it is alive and well. Um, I'd say it's a shame about these the legs on this side, which are a bit twisted, but other than that, it seems okay. Try and get a look at the mandibles. And that's what I'm going to try and do on this on my channel is uh, not so much encouraging the handling of anything as such, but just show that just because things look scary or spiders and other things, um, most of it's down to bad press and the image that they look scary, and most of them aren't that bad. That said, yeah, you still don't sort of handle things and mess around with them. Um, I do know what I'm doing. So yeah, this is. Uh, a closer look at the sulfugid. You can see it's on my hand, it's alive and well, it's not giving me any kind of threat. Um, you know, there's no aggressiveness at all, it's pretty chill to be fair. Shame about this one leg up here. Um, if I just sort of bring it back down a bit, you can see it's moving its jaws. You can see I'm touching it, and it's not um, not freaking out at all. And most of the things with this um, this animal, it's all down to myth. 
as a whole they aren't actually that bad you can see I'm not shaking at all I'm very relaxed and this has not shown me any kind of oops I feel like my not show me any kind of threat at all My dragon Kim, adorable? Or not? I don't know, it's weird in its own little way. <laughs> yeah, that's quite quite chilled really. So there you go everyone, uh, that was my unboxing, I hope you've enjoyed the footage. Um, of course, uh, please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my future updates as well as updates on this, all my other animals and my dragons and things, I don't know what the hell Kim's doing. <laughs> um, some kind of like crazy dancing thing. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this video anyway. Um, it's been a lot of fun to make and record. Like I said, please check out my other videos. Uh, leave some uh, feedback down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe and share my footage. It does really help me and my channel. Um, thank you for watching. Take care and I'll see you soon in the next video. Hey guys, Tom from Tom's Big Spiders here. First off, I'd like to give a huge thank you to Daniel Oakley for allowing me to do the outro to one of his videos. I've been a fan for years. This is a bit of a trip for me. Second, if you feel so inclined, you can click the link up here and check out one of my videos. If you like it, maybe check out a few more, maybe even subscribe. My thanks in advance to anybody that takes the time to check out some of my stuff. And once again, Daniel, thanks so much, bud. Really appreciate it.